Hello YouTube, I'm Prussian Prince and I'm back with part 3 of this Let's Play of Their Finest Hour. And I actually changed things around. There was actually an illegal symbol in one of my in my previous two parts, so I got that removed because I think that it could cause problems to my video. It could perhaps get blocked in Germany and Austria and also I also linked this let's play on on uh, paradox forums linked to it there and, uh, and yeah part of the forum rules were that I can't have legal symbols in my video so I decided to take them out so that more people can enjoy my videos if if possible I mean, I know that there's people who enjoy my videos and people who don't, and, it, and that's fine. If you don't enjoy my videos, you don't have to, you know, I, 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 won't, I won't be, I won't be mad or anything. Just as long as uh, you give constructive criticism and you don't say something like, oh, you're really bad at this game. Uh... Well, you can say that, but uh, at least give some con constructive criticisms, Mac, because I would like to learn this game more. I'm, I'm, and while I'm making a let's play of this, I'm not. Doesn't mean that I'm like the best or I'm like really good. It just means that I want to show people how this game actually is. And even though I've played it before, I don't think I know it well enough to actually give people an accurate uh, description of how it is so I'm just so I'm just showing people the game mostly but yeah you can see now that when you give uh, new leaders you've got filters and that's really nice I don't want auto assign I'm gonna unassign all so for this interceptor squad oh and by the way in uh, their finest hour now leaders can gain uh, Gain traits, so that's really nice. Also, I'm gonna focus on both of these things, and also there are covered ops points. With covered ops, you can use a coop. You can attempt the coop. It costs 20 points, and uh, you can also sabotage. Uh, infrastructure in provinces and such so as to make the enemy's units move slower or you can speed up your own troops you can sabotage strategic resources and such as well and I forgot to mention that in their finest hour the custom game mode is actually pretty fun but it can be a little bit overpowering a, a little bit of an overpowered feature, feature because you can basically get rid of the technologies that you don't need which is the Tech rush the ones that you need. So, for example, I I was fiddling around with that earlier, and I basically tech rush these four techs and these over here as well, except the radar and the decryption and encryption machines. Those are the ones that are really should tech rush in custom game mode. But yeah, let, let's get back to the main thing. Which is doing this let's play. So I'm gonna go over to diplomacy. I'm gonna have to automate trade. And go over to Germany. Align to faction. So we are aligning ourselves to Germany. And what else do we have to do? Uh, Yeah, we'll do the OB later on, I suppose, or we'll do it on the fly. But before that, I'm actually gonna build a little bit of IC once these divisions finish. So let's unpause. I have to wait until May. So we've won that battle. Let's just keep going over. Here and no, no, this is bad because they actually 
cut us off, or did I have a, no, it's fine. And we also had this vision over here, so it's fine. And we lost this little thing, but we have the piece. Hmm. We can go over there. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have unassigned the leaders during the war, but oh well. I just run the progress solo. See, oh yeah, we're getting this VP right now, which is gonna mean they're gonna be over. Oh yeah, there we go. Really cool. Got the weird drop and everything going. And now we can just strategically redeploy our units over there. As Ethiopia is now one of our puppets. Once those divisions are built, actually, I'm going to ignore those two divisions. And I'm going to build some IC over here. Let's build about 10 IC. Or let's build 15. So it's going to take a long time to build. So our first batch should finish quite soon. Oh, and speaking of militia. I'm gonna disband every little militia unit that we have. Because I don't like those units, they're just too... too crap. Let's select those. Disband. I like that you can disband uh, multiple units at the same time. I don't think it was possible before in previous expansions, but I could be wrong. So yay, agriculture is through. We can tech rush it more. So tech rushing now is, isn't as effective, but still can be quite good. And we have some stuff to deploy. We've got our units. And really now I just gotta send this uh, little fleet over here to take my all my units and disband this unit. Because again, I wanna disband all the useless uh, militia. Radio! So these units was lagging a little bit because they were loading. I'm gonna rebase over there. No, actually rebase over here. Better spot. So, strategically deploy more units. Actually, I'm going to strategically deploy all of them over there. These ones besides the HQ over here. Strategically redeploy more units over here. These ones over here as well. And we can have some naval bombers on their own. Then transport plane is quite useless for us right now. Actually, yeah, I, I don't know what I can do with the transport plane, so I'm gonna disband it because I don't have any paratroopers. Though I I can use air supply with them, but I'm not interested. So I just disbanded it straight off the bat. So yeah, right now we're just gonna reorganize units and such. Here's the fleet. Oh, there it is. Go over here. We have the HQ over there. We don't have any more troops over here, so it should be okay. 
Let's see what else is gonna happen. Well, probably China versus Japan, but nothing is really going on right now. And keep going. Strategically deploy this unit you know, over there. Because we want to get Alpini away from our main units. And we have those units over here, motorized, and cav, and cav is not something that I would like to have in the Italian army. And actually we have too much diplomacy, too many points into diplomacy, it's way too much by now. So I'm just going to have to spend a little bit on officers, let's do perhaps four, nah, let's do two, because we need the RT. Yeah, these motorized, I'll take them out. Basically, we deploy them somewhere. More Alpini. We get them over here. Strategically redeploy. And yay, more I see. Infantry support weapons, mass reproduction, efficiency. We still tech rush that. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna deploy those divisions a little bit later. Select, select, merge. Oh, actually, why can we not merge? I think it's because they're reorganizing right now, so we just gotta wait a little bit. Small arms, supply production. Well, we can push that. Armored cars, I'm actually not going to use them. I was planning to, but I don't want to research them. Because I was thinking they would bring me a nice bonus to the combined arms, but it may be a little bit too much. Okay. For, the, for our leadership, so can so I'll probably just focus on armor, light armor and motorized SPR and perhaps engineers too. Or motorized AA and tank destroyers as uh, suggested by Delra from the forums on Paradox Plaza. Legal printing. Let's do this. We don't want this end. Well, once those things are done, we can start researching uh, tanks. Actually, we can research them right now. And stop spending so much on officers. Yeah, now we can. We should be able to reorganize. There we go. There we go. Do we have any more Ar Alpini? I don't think so. I think that was all. And I don't think we can make more Alpini either. I think. I think we got the max amount. So yeah, I'll just keep one of them with three regiments. Well, two of them with three regiments and one with four. Should be okay. Then I can give them good leaders, but not right now. So over here, I'm gonna get rid of this armored car.
well, we can upgrade some of the, those things, but we're gonna wait for the IC first to finish. Countries mobilized in peacetime. We shouldn't be, let's mobilize. And we got some stuff to deploy. And I like how our infantry are in batches of two. Because this means I won't have to reorganize as much. Yeah, this is way better. Just gonna make sure I have five divisions in each province so I can reorganize better. Move one, two, there. And more units over here. And uh, so you should be redeploy over there. And we forgot this division over here. So let's take it and basically redeploy, or rather just rebase the transport. That also works. So five units over there, three over there. We need some units in Parma too. And we gotta reorganize again. Send this unit over there. We may actually need to make a separate brigade of infantry to attach to, to this one. Probably. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this part, and I'll see you in the next video.